Praise God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Pakigamayan mo naman yung katabi mo. Pakasabi nga sa mga katabi mo, you look great, you look beautiful, and you smells good. Ayan, praise God. Bago po tayo mag-start, uh, bago po natin uh, pakinggan ng salita ng Diyos, we would like to welcome everyone to those who are watching us live, streaming on live sa Facebook. Maraming maraming salamat po for liking and sharing our uh, uh, services tuwing Sunday. And also, I would like to give some uh, announcement din. Kung kayo po ay may Twitter, meron kayong Facebook, may Instagram, meron na po tayong accounts, meron na po tayong mga pages, puntahan nyo lang po ito, mga kapatid, at uh, uh, you, we will find our services there and also our thoughts there. Okay? And also, I would like to give some few announcements bago po tayo mag-start to hear our guest speaker this morning. Uh, this coming uh, uh, this coming May ay meron po tayong youth camp. At yun po ang ating youth camp. At ang pamagat po ng ating youth camp ay Endgame. No? Kasabay po nito kasi lalabas ang Avengers. Eh. Kaya meron gumawa din po tayo ng sarili natin na youth camp. Now, ito po ay 100% ito po ay sponsored po para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon. Now, if you are in this church, hindi pa po kayo nakaka-attend ng youth camp, please magpa-enlist po kayo sa inyong mga cell leader dahil po para maisama po namin kayo sa youth camp. Okay? But we are expecting about 100 new friends, guests, at mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa Panginoon na sumama sa youth camp. Okay? Salamat po. Thank you sa lima. Thank you sa lima. Okay? So, right right after the youth camp is we'll be starting another worship service for that. Okay? Dahil we are expecting about 100 to 120 na bagong mga uh, kapatid sa Panginoon. And also, we would like to thank the Lord. Ako po ay napapasalamat sa Panginoon. Number one, kasi po, we have about 46 volunteers for our ministry today. Yan. Two weeks ago, ay uh, nag-announce po tayo na makakaroon tayo ng volunteer season. Hindi po ito mga worker, no? Ito po ay gusto mag-volunteer na cameraman, production people, mag-volunteer sa tech, mag-volunteer sa asher, mag-volunteer sa social media, mag-volunteer kumain, mag-volunteer po sa maraming bagay. Pakasalamat kami sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po. Starting po next week, lahat po na, na nagsipag-volunteer, please coordinate with our ministry directors dahil magkakaroon na po tayo ng orientation and initial training. So you're going to volunteer for the next three months. Okay po ba, mga kapatid? Palakpakan naman natin ang ating mga volunteers. Alam ko, marami sa atin ang volunteers. All right. And today, this morning, nagpapasalamat po ako personally. I would like to thank the Lord. Uh, ngayon pong umaga ito, we have a, a special guest speaker. Dahil once a year lang po siyang pumupunta rito sa church natin. <laughs> our speaker for today, to continue with our series on the two sides of the coin, is my mentor and our mentor sa G12 Vision. At natutuwa po ako sa kanya sapagkat uh, dati na po kami magkakaibigan at magkakasama sa dati pa namin church. Ito po yung panahon ng mga titos at mga titas nung araw. Ano po, uh, mga binata dalaga pa lang po kami ay uh, magkakaibigan na po talaga kami until tinawag kami ni Lord into different aspects of ministries. At natutuwa po kami na siya po ang tumulong sa ating church para po mag tayo at ma-fulfill ang mandate ng Panginoon in multiplication in discipling the nations and transforming the nation of the Philippines. And we would like to thank God dahil siya po ang mentor ko, lalo na po sa G12 Vision. Let us all welcome the senior and lead pastor of Christian Cathedral, Claridel. Let us welcome the man of God, Pastor Ray Iramis. Salamat, Pastor. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning po. I'm happy to see na mga churches na nasa atin pong network ay lumalago, dumadami at umuunlad. So, I'm proud to be a mentor ng Rain M. Christian Ministry. Kasama ko po ngayong umaga ang aking may bahay. Bakit ka sa Pilipino, may bahay ang tawag? Di naman dalang bahay. Kahit walang bahay, ang tawag may bahay. Si Pastor, Pastor Rasali po ay nasa ating kalagitnaan. Uh, siguro, hindi niyo naman madalang, madalas marinig at uh, ang kanyang tinig. Pababatiin ko lang siya ngayong umaga. Pabatiin ko para bigyan kayo ng greetings ngayong umaga. Okay. Uh, yan. Live, Nakalive po kami, ha? Good morning po. 
Good morning sa bawat isa sa Rain M Ministries. Na talagang masayang masaya ako kami nung pumapasok kami. Lumilingon ako. Grabe ginagawa ni Lord sa inyo. Wow, purihin ang Panginoon. Ang so, dami na. Nakapagpapalakas po sa amin ito ni Pastor na talagang lumalago. Fruitful yung ginagawa natin para sa Panginoon. Congratulations, Pastor Reggie, Pastor Rapper. God bless you all. Okay, kayo po ay nasa series ng Two Sides of the Coin. Eh ngayon pong araw na to ay Resurrection Sunday. Tama po ba? Resurrection Day po ngayon, sapagat nung nakaraang Friday ay Good Friday. Kahapon, Black Saturday. At ngayon po ay Resurrection Sunday. Sabi ni iba, Pastor, Easter Sunday. I think much better na gamitin natin yung Resurrection kasi yung Resurrection talaga, alam mo na kung ano ang naganap nung araw ng Sunday na si Jesus ay nag-resurrect. Since you are in, in, in the team of two sides of the coin, gusto ko po maintindihan na Christianity is about dying and living and living and dying. Kung merong life, merong death. Okay? Halimbawa, at the moment na ikay isinilang sa mundo, you are already dead. You are dead spiritually, pero meron kang human life. Physically, buhay ka. But on the day you got born again, you are you are spiritually alive and the old life, the old man, is dead. So, kailangan patay na yung lumang pagkatao mo at ikay nabubuhay na ngayon para kay Kristo. Alright? So, kasi sabi ng Panginoon, ang nag- ang nag-iipon o nagtataago ng buhay ay mawawalan nito. Pero kung sino man mawawalan dahil sa akin, magkakaroon nito. So today, I just want you to talk about para ma-appreciate natin ang between death and life. The death and the resurrection. Alright? Can you open our Bible in the book of Romans chapter, 12, chapter 5, verse 12, and then afterward we will read on verse 17. Romans chapter 5 verse 12 sabi rito, When for us by one man, sin entered through the world by one man, and that through sin, and in this way, death came to all people because all have sinned. Sa Tagalog, uh, Tagalogin muna natin iya, pakibalik. Therefore, kaya sa pamamagitan ng kasalanan o ng isang tao, pumasok ang kasalanan, at dahil sa may kasalanan, pumasok ang kamatayan. At sa ganitong kaparaanan, ang lahat ay mamamatay sapagkat lahat ay nagkasala. So, alam nyo na ngayon kung ano mangyayari sa inyo. All of us, we're going to die. But look at verse 17. Ito naman maganda. Kung sa pamamagitan ng pagkakaasala ng isang tao, pumasok ang kasalanan at nagari ang kamatayan, sa pamamagitan naman ng isang tao, ay matatanggap natin, ang masagaan ng biyaya at ang regalo ng katwiran, okay, sa pamamagitan ng isang tao ay tatanggap tayo ng katwiran. And that's through the man, Jesus Christ. In other words, by one man, Adam, the first man, Adam, nagkaroon ng death because of sin. Now, on the second Adam, whose name is Jesus, magkakaroon ng ano? Ng ng life, eternal life because of what? Because of righteousness. Ang resulta ng sin ay death. For all the wages of sin is death. Therefore, all of us will going to die. Why? Kahit tayo po ay kabilang na, let me say this, our spiritual life ay galing sa second Adam. Pero yung ating physical body ay galing sa first Adam. And uh, this body na galing sa first Adam ay kailangang mamatay. So that, the, so that we may have a new life. Yung buhay na galing sa ating Panginoon, yung tinatawag nating eternal life. Okay? Now let's study about death and life. The first one na gusto ko makita natin, kailan nagsimula una muna ang kamatayan? Nagsimula ang kamatayan, okay, sa pamamagitan ng kasalanan na si Adam ay kumain ng bunga na pinagbabawal ng Panginoon. Ah... Uh, hindi si Satan ang nakaimbento o let me say this, the origin of death. Okay? Sabi ng God kay Adam, Adam, the moment you eat the fruit, the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. 
I want you to understand na death is inherent in life. Anything that has life has death. Okay? So, nung sinabi ng God, Adam, you're going to die. If you're going to eat the fruit, hindi po nagjo-joke ang Diyos sa kay Adam and it's really true. So, anong ginawa ni Adam? Actually, si Eva ang kumuha, kinain, tapos katapos binigay kay Adan. But you have to understand, ang human race, ang life, nang gagaling sa lalaki, kaya lahat ng sangkatauhan bumagsak sa kasalanan. So, ang maganda rito, because of, of, of death, ang kasalanan ay tinapos ng Panginoon. Parang ganito. May blessing ang death. Alright? Na, Naunawan mo ba ako? May pagpapala ang kamatayan. Okay, lahat tayo mamamatay. Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, lahat, ikaw rin ay mamamatay sa araw. Hindi lang, hindi lang sabay-sabay. Kailangan una-una. Mahirap naman yung sabay-sabay. So all of us are going to die. Pero meron akong gustong dalawang bagay paalala sa inyo. Anong benefit ng death? Number one, ang death ay rest. Everyone say rest. Pamamahinga po ang kamatayan. Kaya ang tawag ng Bible, sa namamatay na nakay Kristo ay natutulog lang. Imagine, ba't ba tayo natutulog? Kasi the whole day nag-work ka, sa gabi you need to make a rest, kaya matutulog ka lang. Tama? Kaya lang nagtataka ako, matutulog lang pala, eh bakit pa so naka-Amerikana o kaya nakabarong? Parang aaten ng session sa kongreso at saka sa senado. Eh syempre, para naman magandang tingnan pagka ikaw ay tinitingnan. Kasi nakahiga ka doon at yun ang huling pag pagtingin o pagtanaw sa iyong kalagayang pisikal. Pangalawa, kaya kinakailangang mamatay, we, the people of God, has to change attire. Everyone say, change attire. Parang ganito, natulog po kayo kagabi, tama? Ano yung sinuot ninyo nang kayo'y natulog? Pantulog. Pagka kayo pupunta sa paaralan, ano suot nyo? School uniform. Pupunta sa office. Office uniform. Pupunta sa church. <laughs> church uniform. Of course, at anata that we bring glory and honor to the Lord. Amen. O pupunta kay sa buwan, ano dapat yung suot? Ito yung space suit, tama? Kung may, lupang pa, may, ka, may katawang panlupa, may pang itaas o panlangit, at pang outer space, meron din katawang panlangit. Itong katawan natin, flesh and blood, will never inherit the kingdom of God. That's why you need to die. Dahil pag hindi ka namatay, hindi ka papapasukit sa kabilang buhay. Nag-gets? Oo, kasi kaya, sabi mo sa katabi, kaya kailangan mong mamatay. But we are not afraid of dying. Di tayo natatakot mamatay. Amen. Kaya nga, mabuti na lang si Lord, hindi pinaalam kailan ka mamamatay. Ang iba kasi, alam ko kailan mag-graduate. Alam kailan magpapakasal. Tama? Alam kung... Uh, basta kailan mga anak. Meron tayong mga dates na alam natin. The only date na hindi pinaalam ni Lord ay ang kamatayan. Para surprise. <laughs> But I thank God kasi alam niyo kung bakit? When you die, you're going to rest. Tama? And when you die, change attire. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. Pag namatay tayo, change attire. Okay? Satan is not the author of death. It's God. But through the temptation na ginawa ni Satan sa kay Adam o kay Eve, pumasok ang kamatayan. Present na ang death ng si Adam ay nandirito. Kaya lang ang death ay inactive, powerless, ineffective, at uh, walang magagawa. Why? Because ang death ay papasok lang pag may sin. So nung si Adam at si Eve ay wala pang sin at di pa kumakain ng bunga, they are deathless. So death is powerless. Okay? lifeless and ineffective. So as long as Adam is following God, he will never experience death. So ano ang root cause ng death? Sin. Ano po ang sin? Ang sin ay disobedience against the will of God. And disobedience or sin is equivalent to 
rebellion and rebellion is equivalent to death. Mari sabi natin, kumain lang ng bunga, kamatayan na kaagad. Well, let me tell you, ang katumbas ng sin ay disobedience at ang katumbas ng disobedience ay rebellion and every form of rebellion is equivalent to death. Kaya pag tinina natin sa Bible, for the wages of sin, singular lang yun eh, because the Bible considers a sin as rebellion. So, death is separation. Let me say this. Jesus is not afraid of dying, but He is afraid of death. Si Jesus, so na nandito sa lupa, hindi po siya takot mamatay. Nataakot siya sa kamatayan. But why, Pastor? Because death means separation. Ulitin natin. Ano raw ang death? Ano ang death? That's why on the night, Thursday night, he was crying to the Father and he said, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, your will be done. Alright? Kung si Jesus, hindi itinugtong yung, kung ngayon man, hindi ang kalaoban kong masunod, kundi ang kagustuhan mo. Kung hindi tinugtong yun ni Lord, malamang si Jesus hindi namatay sa cross. Wala tayong salvation, walang shedding of blood. Why? Because the Father loves the Son, kukunin niya yung Son. But thank God, Jesus came here on earth for the purpose of what? For the purpose of redemption. That's why He has to die. Jesus is not afraid of dying. Hindi siya takot mamatay. He is afraid to be separated from the Father. When He was on the cross, ang cry out niya, sabi niya, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That's the first time Jesus made a loud voice. In fact, by the time He shout, si Jesus ang representative ng tao na nagkasala. And the first time na tinawag ni Jesus na ang God as God. He never called God, God. He always called God, Father. And you can see that in the scripture. E pa so, bakit po? Because siya yung ating representative sa cross. Kaya, through Jesus Christ, nabayaran na rin yung kasalanan natin. Because the Bible says, I was crucified with Christ. Nang mamatay si Christ, representative siya ng human race, past, present, and future human race, past, present, and future na kasalanan ng tao, kaya nakabayad na tayo. It was actually Jesus who died, but also you also died with Him. Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi, katabi mo, bayad na ang kasalanan mo. Come on, bayad na tayo. So, the, by the time Jesus cried out, My God! My God! He never called God God. He always called God Father because He is the begotten of the Father. Eh bakit ito ganun, Pastor? Nagkaganon kasi nga, representative natin siya sa cross. He died for us, okay? He was buried for us, resurrected for us, and then ascended for us, and now He's sitting at the throne in heaven for us. But at the same time, it's not only for us, but also with us. He died with us. Nang mamatay si Christ, kasama ka. Nung si Christ ay nilibing, kasama ka. At pinatunayan niya nung din ikaw ay nag-water baptize because baptism is what? It's equivalent to death, to the burial. Nang si Jesus ay nag-resurrect, nag-resurrect ka na rin. Nang si Jesus ay umakit sa langit, naupo sa kanan ng Ama, umakit at nakaupo ka rin. That's why you are reigning with Him. May authority ka. The Bible says, ang buhay mo na kay Kristo. And I want you to understand that God gave you authority. In my name, they shall cast out demons. Those who believe in my name, they can cast out demons. They will speak new language. And, 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 and they will lay hands on the sick, and the sick will be healed. Alright? Kasi nga, nang mamatay si Christ, kasama ka. Pasu, kailan po yun? 2,000 years ago. Pero nag-text effect ito, nung araw na ikaw, ay tumanggap kay Christ personally sa buhay mo. That's why, bayad ka na. Hindi mo na kailangan magbayad ng kasalanan. Bayad ka na eh. May nagbayad para sa iyo. Amen? That's why ang Friday ay tinatawag. Sa lahat ng Friday, yun lang po ang Good Friday. Have you noticed? Nakita niyo ba yung kalendaryo niyo? Nakalagay doon, ang Friday ay Good 
Friday. Aha! Anong araw na yon namatay si Jesus? Uh, nalaman ko si Pastor Ratin namatay yung mother niya at kahapon na ilibing. Tanong ko lang, bumabati ba tayo sa kanilang, alam mo, good day yung namatay nanay mo. Di ba bati natin ni condolence, pakikiramay, tama? Kasi gusto mo yung nararamdaman niyang kalungkutan, ay maipadama mo sa kanya na nalulungkot ka rin. Pero ang tawag sa kamatay ni Jesus nung Friday na yon ay Good Friday. May good ba doon? Ano ang good doon? Let me tell you, ang good doon kasi yung day na yon Jesus paid for our price. Ang Friday, ang Good Friday ay payday. Everyone say payday. O ilan dito nagtatrabaho? Can I see your hands? Mga nagtatrabaho. Kayo ba masaya pag araw ng sweldo? Payday yun eh. Aha, mga misis, kayo po ba masaya pagka kayo ay tawag dito, ang mister nyo na nagsweldo, payday yon, masaya ho ba kayo? Amen? Oo naman, masaya kayo, bakit? Eh di, eh, yung sumusweldo masaya, mas doble saya nung wala namang, wala namang araw ng sweldo, pero may pera. And that's the grace of God. So let me tell you this, Jesus paid our price. Okay? So the reason, bakit ang Diyos may fellowship kay Adam, every day is for Adam not to lose relationship with God. Kasi, that means separation. Alright? Uh, you know the reason that I like praise and worship? Because when we praise and we worship, we invite the presence of God. Uh, sabi ng Bible, the Lord inhabits the praises of His people. Kaya nung magkasala si Adam at si Eve, pinalay sa Garden of Eden because exactly the meaning of that is separation. Hindi cessation of life, ha? Later na lang na si Adam at si Eva, si Adam namatay at the age of 930 years. Imagine, 930 years. But during the day na sila'y kumain ng bunga, they are spiritually dead. Namatay na po sila. Okay? Kaya pinaalis sila ng Panginoon and God started to teach them how to worship God. Noong una, ang worship, nagpapatay ng ayop, ino-offer sa altar. Nang sa ganon, ang mga tao may communion and communication with God. The reason, bakit tayo may praise and worship so that we might have the presence of God among us. Kasi iba yung indwelling presence and the presence ng merong manifestation ng God. So kaya ginagawa natin ang praise and worship. At the same time, before you hear the word, para yung puso natin ready na to receive the word. Kaya hindi pwedeng malate. Uy, wala ata akong kausap. Kaya kami maagad dumating, sabi ni Pastor Reggie, oh, Kuya Rey, ang aga mo, ayoko malate. Unang-una, ang lugar nyo, mahirap mag-parking. Pangalawa, because I want to be na yung worship talagang mapuntahan because that's the time we give the glory, the honor, and the praise to God. Pinagpala na po kayo ng Panginoon sa loob ng linggo. Huwag niyong sasabihin, kaya ako pupunta sa church, mag-worship para pagpalain ng Lord. No, 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 no. You are already blessed. You are already blessed. Why we come here? Because we give back the glory, the praise, and thanks that belong to the Lord. Amen. You are already blessed. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, bless ka na, ha? tandaan mo yan, bless ka na. Okay. So in other words, that simply means to detach the resource from the source. Parang yung halaman, subukan nyo. Yung mga halaman nyo, bunutin nyo mamaya. Pag-uwi nyo. Para mapatunayan ko na ang ibig sabihin ng death ay separation. Ilayo nyo yung halaman nyo sa kanyang, ano, sa lupa. And you will exactly know what will happen tomorrow. Lalo ngayon, mainit. Bunutin nyo po yung halaman nyo. O, kahit din nyo naman bunutin, isipin nyo lang, imagine nyo lang ngayon. Pag binunot yung halaman, doon sa source, ano ang source? Yung soil, patay, yung resource. Ang tao, pag binunot mo sa source, what is the source of God? The source of man, sorry. The source of man, it's the presence of God. 
So the moment na wala ng presence ng God sa iyo, you will be separated from God. You are actually spiritually dead. So death means separation. Okay. Uh, the only way para masustain ang life is the word. So God said to God said to Adam, Adam, don't eat the fruit because on the day you eat the fruit, you will die. The word is very important. That's why we need the word and receive the word. Hindi lang ho pag-aaraw ng linggo, kundi araw-araw. Kaya meron tayong devotion. Kaya meron tayong sa leader na nag-check ng ating devotion. Kaya pag tinatanong ka ng sa leader mo, kung sa devotion mo, huwag kayong mag-agalit, huwag sasamalo. Napakailan may devotion ko. Alam na ni Lord John. <laughs> Alright? Ganun ang talaga trabaho ng sa leader para matiyak na kayo ay spiritually buhay pa. Because ang pagkain ng ating spirit ay ang word. At dahil si Adam ay bumagsak sa word, sabi ng God, I have to send the living word. Then ang solution lang to keep us alive is the word. So to keep us mamuhay uli spiritually, isinugo ng God ang alin? Ang kanyang living word. At ang pangalan ng living word ay Jesus. Now, I want you to understand this. Pumasok ang death. Kailan po pumasok ang life? The real life. Let's talk about the life. The life begins. Life begins when death died. Papasok po ang buhay pag ang kamatayan namatay. Alright? Paano yun, pastor? Ganito po yun. Ang tanong lang ganito, ang, the, the only way to stop the power of death is to kill death. And how we can kill death, maraming doktor nagtangka, nagtyaga, at maraming invention ng ginawa, mga doktor at mga scientists, and still people are dying. Because death is so very powerful that you cannot, that you cannot stop. Kaya nga pag kumatok kaya sa pinto mo, hindi ka makakahindi. Wala kang choice, kundi pagbubuksan siya. At kung ayaw mo man siyang dumating at ayaw mong pabuksan, papasok siya because that is so very, very powerful. And the only way to stop the power of death is to kill death. Ang tanong, sino ang may power to kill death? And we found out na si Jesus lang ang may power to kill death. In what way? By death, God kill death. So si Jesus kailangan mamatay para ang death ay mamatay. Ang gets natin. Okay. So si Jesus ang namatay para sa atin. I want you to understand that we are separated from God but through Jesus Christ, today we are now connected. <laughs> what do you need is to be in Christ. And the only way to be in Christ, the first step is to be born again. I want you to understand this. Ang born again, kasi nag-preach ako, nag ako sa isang church, napansin ko at nalaman ko, hindi pala ko muna sa born again church, born again. Sapagat pagkatapos ko mag-preach, sabi sa akin ng isang, matagal isa dumadalo ron, sabi sa akin, Pastor, I'm offended with what you, what you preach. Sabi ko, alin doon ka na-offend? Sabi niya, to say that your religion is better than mine. Wala po akong tinurong religion. Ang tinuro ko lang, ang sabi ko, you must be born again. So sa thinking niya, born again is a religion. So sabi niya sa akin, but kailangan dali ng marami mga tao at dali sa born again. Sabi ko, we are not bringing them to the born again church, we are bringing them to Christ. Because the church, and God gave me a wisdom, the church is the, the bridge between the people and Christ. Uy. Ang, ang iglesia po, tayo yon church ha, ang tulay, parang tao, mapakinggan at malaman, si Kristo. Kaya kung kayo po, hindi magwiwi ng soul, at hindi magsishare ng word of God, may problema po yung mga maraming tao. Hindi sila makakakilala kay Christ. Kaya pakisabi sa katabi mo, gawin mo yung trabaho mo. Come on, sige, sige. Ano trabaho natin? To win souls and make disciples. By disobedience, by disobedience, 
men fell into sin. But by obedience, alam niyo po kung ano po nga ng disobedience? Death. But by obedience, pumasok ang righteousness. Si, si Adam ang first man, ang first Adam. And in the garden, in the garden, si Adam ho ay nag-failed. But the second Adam, Jesus Christ, in the garden, Jesus resurrected. Both of them are in the garden. At gusto ko makita natin, Christianity started on the resurrection. Alright? Ang crucifixion ay ang payment ni Christ para sa lahat ng ating kasalanan. But Christianity started on the resurrection. So bakit po? Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10. If you confess Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart on the third day He resurrected, you will be saved. So Christianity started on resurrection but the payment in crucifixion. Para maintindihan natin. Kaya merong... Ma Malalaman mo talaga resurrected ka kasi meron ka resurrected life. On the day you got born again, ano nangyari sa iyo? Ikayo ho ay nabuhay na. Your spirit life ay nabuhay na. Nagkaroon ka ng eternal life. And now you have the divine life of God. Kasi nung meron ka human life. But today you are controlled by the divine life, eternal life. Kaya ang buhay mo ngayon hindi na tagalupa. Tagalangit ka na kasi. And the Bible says, set your mind on the things above. Why above? Because you belong above. You belong above. Tama? Tayo po ay meron tatlong citizen. Actually, kami ni Pastor Reggie, dalawa lang. The Filipino citizens and the heavenly citizens. Sila nani at si tatay, may pangatlo, the senior citizens. But we thank God, dahil kay Christ, naging tagalangit tayo. Amen. Because of His obedience, dumating sa atin ang grace, nagkaroon tayo ng righteousness. Because of Adam, pumasok ang sin, nagkaroon ng death. But because of obedience of Christ, pumasok ang righteousness. Now you are called righteous. You are righteousness, the righteousness of God. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, tandaan mo to, matuwid ka na, righteous ka na, come on, come on. At sa totoo lang, ang tawag sa atin, ang tawag sa atin ay saint. Called to be saint. Ano ka raw? Ano ka raw? Pakilala mo nga yung sarili mo sa katabi mo. Sabi mo, ako si Saint... Oh, si Saint Ray. Kahit siyang katabi mo, hindi mo kang santo. Santo yan. Ang, ang status niya, ang position niya, santo yan. Amen. Amen. Santo yan. Eh, Pastor, marami pa pa ako nagagawang sin. Ang iyong pagiging santo, hindi nakabase sa iyong ginawang kabutihan at kabaitan. Nakabase lahat sa righteousness at sa obedience ni Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says you are called saint. Okay. Ang ating pananampalataya, nakasentro kay Jesus. Pag tininan nyo sa Bible, ang mabubuhay sa uling tunog ng trompeta mula, mula sa mga patay, yung mabubuhay sa uling, trumpet, uling tunog ng trompeta ng Angel ng Diyos ay yung na kay Kristo. Ulitin ko ho, ah, na kanino raw? Na kanino raw? Tanong yung mga katabi mo, na kay Kristo ka ba? Baka nasa Rain M kayo, iba sa amin, nasa Christian Cathedral. Dapat na kay Kristo, Amen! Para pagtunog ng trompeta, babangon tayo sabay-sabay, ba't -sabay. ba nawawala si sister? Nung kami buhay pa, ay magkatabi kami, ba't naiwan? Yung pala hindi born again, dapat na kay Kristo. Amen. All right. Si Jesus, sabi ng Word of God, ang kinaroroonan na anak, may buhay na walang hanggan, ang wala nito, walang buhay na walang hanggan. Only Jesus defied death and sin. And let me tell you this, ang number one problem ng tao ay hindi po pera. Ang number one problem ng human ay sin and death. Si Jesus lang ang humamon po sa kamatayan. And by His death, He confronted death. Alright? And because of Him, Siya lang ho ang nag-resurrect. Sa lahat ng faith teachers, and let me say this, or let me call religious leader, though Jesus is not a religious leader, Siya lang ho yung namatay na nabuhay. Si Muhammad nangaral, 
nabuhay, nangaral, namatay, is still today dead. Maharaj, ang, ang, ang founder ng Hinduism, nabuhay, nangaral, hanggang ngayon patay pa rin. Sino pa? Si Confucius, nabuhay, nangaral, namatay, and today still dead. But Jesus is different. Namatay po siya for our sins. Siya lang ang namatay sa kanyang follower. Yung po mga naunang apat, Maharaj, uh, Buddha ng Buddhism, Muhammad ng Islam, Confucius ng Confucianism, namatay po sila, hindi po para sa kanilang mga followers. Only Jesus died for the followers. At si Jesus lang ang nagshed ng blood. Si Buddha namatay kasi nakakain ng kabuti. Si Muhammad ay namatay kasi nilagnat. Si Maharaj at si Confucius namatay because of old age. But only Jesus died for you and for me. Si Jesus lang ho ang namatay at nagshed ng blood. Wala nang iba pa. Si Jesus lang. And the most important is, nagshed ng blood. And this blood is not ordinary blood. Ang blood ni Jesus hindi po ordinaryo. Aha. Eh, pasok, bakit po? Because the blood of Jesus is the blood of the Son of God. Yung kasalanan ng tao, past, present, and future, kayang patawarin ng blood ni Jesus. Pasok, why? Because the blood of Jesus is still fresh today. Ano raw yung dugo ni Jesus? Press. Kaya kahit anong kasalanan mo, kaya hugasan. Let me tell you the truth. The moment that you're, you're going to die, that the moment you die, yung dugo natin, yung blood cells natin, mamamatay din. Ang buong creation, ang mga hayop at mga nilalang ng Diyos, is sinabject into corruption. Because si Adam, na nilika ng Diyos na maglilid sa creation, ay nakorrupt because of sin. So ang whole creation ay sinabject into corruption. Walang kasalanan ang creation pero nakorrupt sila. Why? Isinabject ni sila ng God to corruption. Kaya ang mga ayo pag pinatay ngayon, lalabas ang dugo. Mabubuo. At dahil sa nakorrupt nga din sila, kaya yung kanilang dugo, mamamatay ang blood cell nila. Pinatay ngayong umaga, mamayang hapon, nandun sa kanto, tinitinda. Nakatusok. Yung kanilang dugo nakatusok, naintindihan niyo ba? Ang tawag doon, Betamax. Why? Patay na yung dugo ng hayop kasi patay na yung hayop. Kaya pag tayo namatay, para magtagal kang paglamayan na tatlong araw, iimbalsamuhin ka, tatanggalin yung mga dugo sa katawan para palitan ng formalin. Kasi you are already dead. But Jesus' blood is different. He, is, he died, but His blood is still fresh until today. At yung dugo na yun ang pinanghugas sa ating kasalanan. Kaya ang tawag sa iyo ay justified. Pastor, ano pong justified? Ang justified as if you never committed sin. Pagka kayo po'y nabilanggo, ang paraan para kayo makalaya, kinakailangan bayaran niyo yung presyo ng inyong kasalanan. Kung sampung taong kayong inatulan ng pagkabilanggo, sampung taong kayo dapat sa kulungan. Alright. Ang isa sa paraan para mapabilis ay yung tinatawag natin parol. Ano po yung parol? Yung parol, nagpakabait ka, naging mabuti ka, bago ka palayain, eh, na-advance yung paglaya mo. Ang tawag sa'yo, parolado. At binay ka isang parolado, pupunta ka sa parol officer every month uh, para ipakita ang iyong kabutihan at ikay nandiyan pa, di ka tumatakas. Pero meron kang record na sa iyong ginawang kasalanan. Ang pangatlo ay yung tinatawag nating pardon. Ani pardon? Ang pardon, dalawang klase. Yung isa may record, yung isa wala. Yung, yung total pardon at saka yung conditional pardon. Okay? Ano po yun? Pagka tinawag nating pardon, binigyan ka ng clemency o pardon ng president, malaya ka na pag total pardon, wala kang record. Kaya pag po, hindi ka na kailangan mag-report mag, mag sa parole officer kasi pardon ka nga eh, walang record. Ang ginawa ng Diyos para sa atin, lahat ng kasalanan mo dahil ikaw ang katapat ng pardon ay justified. Walang kasalanan nagawa. Eh, ito maganda. Walang record ka ng kasalanan. Walang record. 
Nagiging sumo natin. At ang maganda, kasi namatay ka na, hindi ka na pwedeng patayin kasi meron ka ng life. Pasok, kailan po ako namatay? On the day you got born again, yung iyong lumang pagkatao, patay na. Kaya ang na, nasa iyo ngayon, bagong buhay. At hindi ka na kayang patayin ni Satan. Alam niyo bakit lang tayo takot mamatay? Kasi buhay ka. But the moment you are dead, hindi ka na takot mamatay. Uy. Eh kasi patay ka na, hindi ka na pwedeng patayin, patay ka na. Uy. Dahil sa ginawa ni Christ sa cross, namatay na ang luma mong pagkatao. Kaya hindi ka na kayang patayin. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kasi patay na ako. That's why you need to live a life ayon sa pagkatawag ng Diyos sa atin. Ano yon? Yung bagong buhay. Nagugets you ba ako? Patay ka na. Tandaan mo, sabi mo sa katabi mo, tandaan mo, dead ka na. Dead ka na. In order to remain alive, do not go back to the old life. Because the old life has the power to kill you and destroy you. Kaya sabi natin, Christianity, may two coins, death and life, life and death. But I thank God, tayo na kay Kristo. Walang kasalanan na hindi kayang patawarin ni Kristo because of His blood shed on the cross. We are justified by this blood. We are not afraid to die. Of course, mamamatay tayo lahat, mga kapatid. But thank God, we are not afraid of dying and we are not afraid of death because hindi ka na separated from God. And I want you to keep walking according to the plan and purpose of God. Lumakad ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Huwag na ho nating balikan ang lumang buhay. Pastor, ano pa yung lumang buhay? You can see that. This is your assignment. Read in the book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 21. Those are the sins that will kill your spirit life. May nakalagay kasi sa Bible na okay, may kasalanang nakamamatay. Pero may kasalanang hindi nakamamatay. Nagkamali ka ng grammar sa English. O, oh, mali ka doon. Pero hindi nakakamatay yun. Ang nakakamatay, yung binalikan mo yung buhay mo. Na dati, diboto ka. Ngayon, dibote ka na. Ah, hindi. Dati yun, ha? Ngayon, ngayon, devoted and committed ka na kay Kristo Jesus. Mama, natili kang buhay and let me tell you that through church, because of the blood, you can, you can keep killing death. Because in 1 John 1.7, nakalagay doon, kung lalakad tayo sa liwanag, ang dugo ni Jesus ay patuloy tayong huhugasan dahil sa patuloy nating paglakad sa liwanag. E paano po, Pastor, kung ako po'y nagkasala? Nakalagay sa verse 9, If you will confess with your mouth, your sins, Jesus is faithful. He will going to kill you in all your sins and iniquities. The moment you apply the blood, you are putting death to death. Every day we are fighting the good fight of faith. Paso, sa lahat ng fight, ito yung good. Because to God, everything is good. Nothing is happening by accident. God is a plan and God is a purpose for you and me. Tandaan natin to. Walang bagay na nagaganap sa buhay mo na accident. Lahat yun plano ng Diyos. Amen. Eh, Pastor, nagkasakit ako, ayaw ko. May plano ang Diyos sa'yo. Let, let me give a simple illustration. Yung akin pong bayaw, uh, nawala ng pera. Sabi sa akin, Kuya Ray, alam mo masaya ako. Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi sa akin, wala akong pera. Sino rito, pag walang pera, masaya. Sino rito, pag walang pera, mainit ulo. Lalo yung mga nanay, pag walang pera. Sabi ko sa kanya, paano ka naman naging masaya, wala kang pera. Alam niyo, sabi niya sa akin, ngayon ko naalaman dahil wala akong pera, gaano kahalaga ang pag-iimpok. Nagkaroon ng negative effect sa kanya na wala siyang pera. Kaya sabi niya, mula ngayon, mag-iimpok na ako. Para pagdating ng wala, mawalan ako ng pera, meron akong savings. And that's, and that's very good. Alam niyo kung bakit? Walang bagay na nagaganap sa ating buhay na hindi gusto at hindi plano ng Diyos. Amen! Si Pastor Asali po, 2017, August 13, after niyang mag ng praise and worship, ay na-stroke po siya. 
I never asked the Lord. We never asked the Lord. Bakit nagta naglilingkod naman kami? Tapat naman kami sa yon. Bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? No, no. We never ask the Lord. Because only one thing is for sure. In good times and in bad times, God is always a good God. Amen! Pakisabi sa katabi mo, in good times and in bad times, God is always a good God. Come on! Come on! Walang bagay na nagaganap sa ating buhay na by chance, or by accident. Lahat ng iyan, plano ng Diyos sa mga nagmamahal sa Kanya. And we thank God today, because of Jesus, we can face death. We are not afraid of death, and we are not afraid of dying. Nakukuha ba natin? Naunawaan natin? Only keep walking and living for God. Okay? Si Muhammad, walang shinyad na blood. Si Maharaj, walang shinyad na blood. Si Buddha, walang shinyad na blood. Si Confucius walang nagshed, hindi siya nagshed ng blood. Only Jesus shed His blood just for you and for me. And resurrection, mga kapatid. Ano po, Pastor, ngayon kung nagkaroon ng resurrection si Jesus? Ang resurrection ay proof na si Jesus hindi hawak ng sin. Si Jesus so ay sinless. I tell you the truth, si Jesus ay sinless. Pag wala kang sin, di ka mamamatay. Because the wages of sin is death. So Jesus is what? Deathless. How He died? Because nilagay sa Kanyang katawan ang lahat ng ating mga kasalanan. Si Jesus hindi po pinatay. He voluntarily gave His life for you and for me. That's why nung gusto na niyang mamatay at 3 o'clock, sabi niya, Father, into your hand, I commend my spirit. And then He died. Uy. Kasi ang isang tao kinukrucify, pwede kang mabuhay ng mga ilang araw bago ka mamatay. Pero si Jesus, tatlong oras lang ng kinrucify. Mahirap ipako sa krus. It is a place of suffering and pain before you die. But Jesus, He gave His life for you and for me. Si Jesus, so, hindi po pinatay. Kung saan niya binigay ang life niya para sa atin. And God used crucifixion for him to experience death. Alright? E tayo nga pag maraming problema, Lord, gusto ko nang mamatay. Hindi ka naman mamatay, matay. Merong iba, ayaw mamatay. Sabi ng doktor, may taning ka na ha, stage 4. Ayaw ko pong mamatay. Wala siyang choice, kundi dadating ang kamatayan. Si Jesus ay deathless. How He experienced death? Because of your sins, because of my sins, because of our sins. He died on the cross. Now, si Jesus namatay hindi sa kasalanan niya. Namatay siya sa kasalanan natin. Kaya hindi siya pwedeng hawakan ng libingan. Kaya kahit anong pigil ng libingan, on the third day, nag-resurrect si Jesus. Pastor, bakit po? Kasi wala siyang sin. Hindi pwedeng patayin ang walang sin. The reason kung bakit si Jesus ay naipako sa cross, kasi kinuha niya yung ating kasalanan in the spirit realm. But in the legal realm, ang kinuha niya, kasalanan nino, ni, Barnab ni Barabbas, kasi si Barabbas ay sentenced to death na. So yung kasalanan ni Barabbas, sa kanya ipinataw. Yung kasalanan natin, sa kanya ipinataw, that's why Jesus died. Pinamalit po siya para sa atin, para gusto ko maintindihan natin. Wala siguro rito, siguro rito mahal mo kaibigan mo na ang buhay mo, ibibigay mo para sa kaibigan mo. Meron ba rito? May kausap po ba ako? Meron ba rito handang mamatay? Paso kasi mahal ko yan, best friend ko yan. Handa akong mamatay para dyan. Meron ba rito? Siyempre, hindi. May magulang ba rito i-volunteer yung anak na yung buhay ng anak mo ibibigay mo para pamalit doon sa buhay ng kanyang kaibigan? Siyempre, hindi. Minsan, yung iba nagjo-joke pa. Yun na lang po asawa ko. <laughs> It's only a joke. Pero let me tell you the truth. None. But thank God, ang Diyos ipinalit ang bugtong niyang anak na matay para sa atin so that we might have life eternal. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you have eternal life. Come on! I have eternal life. Kaya ang tawag sa atin ay more than conquerors. Why? Jesus 
conquered death, he conquered Satan, at yung conquering na yun, inalagay sa atin, tayo ngayon na nag apply ng kanyang pagkakoconquer, kaya ang tawag sa atin ay more than conqueror. Walang problema na hindi mo kayang, kayang talunin o kayang lutasin. Amen! And the day will come. Lahat tayo, lahat tayo mamamatay sa mundong ito. But sa huling tunog ng trompeta ng Anghel ng Diyos, lahat tayo ay mabubuhay. Sabay-sabay tayong mabubuhay. Amen! But today, in order to live, you need to die. Keep dying. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, patuloy kang mamatay. Come on, come on. Because the only way to live is to die. Aha! The only way to live is to die. Pastor, kailan saan po ako mamamatay? In your old life. In your old life. But wag nyo nang babalikan yung lumang buhay. Iyon yung pumatay sa ating buhay spiritual. Nakakaunawaan po ba? So that we may have life, you need to die. And when you are dead, you are dying, you are going to live. That's what God did for all of us. The two sides, you need to die in order to live. And while you are living today, don't die. Huy. You are only going to die physically. How? Eh kasi yung ating katawan, katawan pa yan galing kay Adan. Kaya kailangan mamatay. Pero ang buhay natin ngayon, galing sa Diyos, kaya ang nabubuhay tayo ngayon, remember, ano sabi ng Galatians 2.20? I'm going to close Galatians 2.20. The Word of God says, pwede labas Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but Christ who lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Sa Tagalog, napako na akong kasama ni Kristo. Ano raw? Napako ka na kasama ni Kristo. Hindi nyo kinakailangan pumunta doon sa kapitangan para magpapako. Napako ka na. Uy! Sabi mo sa katabi mo, napako na ako. Napako ka na. Eh anong ginawa nung napako ka? Eh di natural, lahat ng pinapako, pinapatay. Kasi yung pinapako doon sa sa kapitangan, pare ha, sigurado nyo bang uh, na ibabad nyo sa alkohol yung pakong yan? Baka ako matetano. <laughs> uh, pagka kayo po yung papatayin, may, pa, may, te, merong, may kalawag yung pako o wala, ang importante, napatay ka. Tapos sabi nung kaibigan, pare, Sigurado mo hindi tatamaan yung buto ko pag pinako ako ha. Pagka kayo talagang papatayin, kahit saan tumama yan, papatayin ka. Alright? And we thank God, si Jesus na pa ako namatay kasama ka. Pero hindi ka nagpinitensya because Jesus died for you and you also died with Him. Ano resulta? Ano resulta? Kasi patay ka ni. Ano nakalagay doon? Hindi na ako ang nabubuhay sa akin. Ang buhay na kinabubuhay ko ngayon sa aking katawan, in our physical life, in our physical body, ay kinabubuhay ko sa anak ng Diyos na nagmahal sa akin at namatay para sa akin. That's why your life today is not the human life. It's the divine life. It's the life that comes from God. The effect of eternal life. Hey! Change life happen na bago buhay mo, na transform ang buhay mo. Alam niyo kung bakit? Nung inanalyze ko sa Bible, ang 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. A new creation. And I studied, hindi pala ako transform. Hindi pala ako reform. Lalong hindi ako repaired. Ako ay new creation. New creation means ngayon ka pala nag-exist. Hindi ka nag-exist noon. Hindi pa so nag-exist ako noon. No, before ang life mo is the human life, the old life. You have life, the human life, but your life is old, the sinful life. But today, you have a new life, the divine life, the nature of God. Ang life natin ngayon, partaker tayo, the life of God, the divine life. That's why you can live a holy life kasi meron kang divine life.
And everyone say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Vamos sabihin, Pastor, hindi ko po kayang mabuhay para kay Kristo. You can! Because you have a divine life. Because you have a holy life. And uh, as, uh, we're going to sing the song, His Kingdom, because Jesus is no longer a sacrifice. He is the King and He is the Lord of your life. Siya yung expression ng God's love. Siya yung expression ng God's holiness. And because of Him, we were made holy. And I want you to close your eyes this morning, mga kapatid. Can we close our eyes? And I want you to thank Jesus for what He had done on the cross. I want you to bless and thank Him, honor Him, and praise Him. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Speak something. Say something. Say, Jesus, I thank you that you died on the cross. You died for me. And I thank you for your great love and great sacrifice. I thank you. You died for me. I am not worthy, but I thank you that you died for me. And today I commit and dedicate my life to you as my King, as my Lord, and as my Savior. Jesus, God's righteousness revealed. Son of man, the Son of God, His kingdom come. Oh Jesus, Jesus, redemption sacrifice, redemption sacrifice. Now glory. Now justify His kingdom God And His kingdom And this kingdom Will know no end And its glory Shall know no bound for the majesty and power of this kingdom's king has come. And this kingdom, and this kingdom's reign, and this kingdom's rule, and this kingdom's power. Jesus, expression of God's love. Oh, Jesus. can we worship Jesus? Expression of God's love. The grace of God. The grace of God. The
nila lang or let me say person na nag-alay at nagandog ng buhay liban sa ating Panginoong Isus. Nag-define ng death, nag-define ng sin, only Jesus. Today, His, 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 His tomb is empty because He's no longer in the tomb. He's no longer in the grave. He is in heaven, sitting and reigning. Hallelujah! He is called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Today, kung nandito po tayo ngayong umaga, and you want to be assured, and you may be a visitor this morning, I want you to follow after me this prayer, a prayer of an assurance of being in Christ. I know, I know, alam ko po marami sa atin na kay Kristo na, but for the sake ng, ng mga bago at bisita at wala pa kay Kristo, you may be in the born again, but you're not assured that you are born again. Today is the day that you're going to live for Christ and Christ will be in you and you will be in Christ. I want you to follow after me. Mari po kayo sumunod sa panalangin at sabihin natin, Panginoong Isus, Ngayong umaga, kinikilala ko, Ikaw ang aking Panginoon, Ikaw ang aking tagapagligtas. Ako'y naniniwala na Ikaw ay nabuhay mula sa mga patay ng ikatlong araw. At dahil dito, ang katiyakan ng kaligtasan ay nasa akin na. Sapagat Ikaw ay nag sa aking buhay at ako'y nabubuhay para sa iyong kalooban. Gamitin mo ang aking buhay upang magbahagi ng iyong salita ng iyong ebanghelyo sa napakaraming tao. Pagpalain mo po ang aking buhay. Salamat sa buhay na walanggan. And today I declare, I am born again. And everyone say, Give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah! Oh, I want you to praise the Lord. Glory! Praise! Thank, hallelujah, oh, glory, come on, oh, and this kingdom, and this kingdom, he has come. we're going to commit it to the Lord this morning. If you are sick, may karamdaman, I want to tell you, Jesus is alive. He's no longer in the grave. He can reach you. He can touch you. The, at the name of Jesus, because of His obedience, pinigyan siya ng dakilang pangalan, pangalang iginagalang sa kalangitan, sa lupa at sa ilalim ng lupa. Pangalang Jesus, that every name, Every name, every knee will bow down and every tongue will confess Jesus is Lord. Today, would you please lift your hands as you not have In the name of Jesus, Father, we're coming to you. That in the name of Jesus, the most powerful name, the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I declare and I speak for solution to every problem. Any difficulties in life sa pangalan Yesus, sinasalita ko po ang iyong himala, ang iyong kapangyarihan, ang iyong kagalingan, ang solusyon at sagot sa lahat ng mga problema. Every sickness and disease, I come against you. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave the body of the people of God and I declare healing the by the stripes and 
Ghost of Jesus be healed. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your solution. Receive the, the, the answer to your problem and difficulties. Walang bagay na mahirap sa Diyos. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, tanggapin niyo po ang inyong pagpapala, tagot sa problema at kagalingan sa katawan, sa espiritu at sa kaluluwa. In the name of Jesus, receive it. In Jesus' name, everyone say, receive it, yeah. Glory, oh, oh, and this kingdom that we can. And this kingdom. Everyone say, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The power of the blood and the power of the resurrection. Before I leave this platform, I want everyone to celebrate. Today is the resurrection day. Amen. Iba kasi parang Biyernes Santo kalaga yun ibang mga ano eh. Today is ano pong meron? Life, resurrection, joy. Amen. Because Jesus, He is alive. Let's celebrate. Glory.
time for us to bless the God who bled and gave his life for us. Let's now move on to our tithes and offerings. And to our dear guests, we do encourage you to join us. Meron tayong mga envelopes on your seats. And for everyone who's ready, just come here in front and present your offerings to God. pray to our God. Let's pray to our Lord. Dear Lord, our Father, as one church, we would like to come to you, Lord God, to thank you for not just stopping at redeeming us. Thank you, O God, because you continued the great work by blessing us and prospering us, Lord God, through our finances. Lord, thank you for the expansions, Lord God, for the promotions. And Lord, we pray that as we give to you these offerings and tithes, may you, Lord God, may you grow our finances even more. Lord, we thank you and we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift our hands and may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and make His face shine on you and give you peace. Shalom. And today and forever, the Lord will bless your families, your finances, your businesses, your work, your relationships. In the name of the Father, we declare, I am blessed. In the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, we declare, I am saved. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, we declare, I am powerful. In Jesus' name, everybody shout, Amen! Here we go!
Jesus Christ lives in me. Hallelujah. That concludes our worship service this morning. God bless you, everyone. Enjoy your lifestyle, enjoy your lunch, and enjoy the rest of the day. See you next Sunday.